Hey, Logan. Hey. What are you, uh, what are you doing with that hose? Nothing. <laughs> Logan, you know if you spray your Uncle Greg, he's going to be very angry. Are one of you gonna go out there and discipline your son? I'm always holding that hose, we're not. Hey, Greg. Sammy hit a new milestone today. Oh, please tell me he stopped sticking his hands down his pants. Actually, I'm still working on that one. Well, work a little faster. It's gotten to the point I don't even want to share a bowl of chips with my own son. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's totally normal that he sticks his hands down his pants, but what's with that serious look on his face? <laughs> It's like he's trying to solve a little Rubik's Cube down there. So what's the news? He's got a girlfriend. What? Sammy has a little girlfriend. Great. Maybe now he'll stop playing with himself. That's what cured me. Come on, Kim. The kid is five years old. What do you mean he has a girlfriend? He has a new friend that's a girl. Her name is Claire, and the teacher says that they are inseparable. They go into the little plastic log cabin at recess and act like they're married. Mm. In high school, Christine and I used to park my car behind the Arby's and act like we were married. We spent so much time back there, Jimmy started to become aroused by the smell of roast beef. Anyway... I just think it's so cute that he has a girlfriend. She's coming over tomorrow for a play date. It is cute. I wish... Logan would play with a girl once in a while. All he and his friends ever do at recess is have mud fights. Well, that's what boys do. I mean, no offense, but, you know, most boys don't like playing house. Well, maybe Logan's uncomfortable playing house because he doesn't have a house. I remember my first boyfriend. We spent every recess together until I beat him at the 50-yard dash. He cried and dumped me for the girl with scoliosis. My first girlfriend was in the third grade, Debbie Aruka, but her father wouldn't let her and I play together because he thought I was going to be a loser who would amount to nothing. What was her father's name? Nostradamus? <laughs> No, oh, I think his name was Carlos. Who was your first girlfriend, Greg? Oh, I don't remember. Oh, come on. What was her name? I don't remember. And besides, I don't think it's good for boys and girls to be playing together at that age because girls can be very, very, very mean. <laughs> what was her name? Lizzie Friedman. That eight-year-old little trollop broke my heart. We had four or five wonderful play dates together. Then Kevin Gallagher waltzes into town with his feathered hair and his skateboard tricks. I don't want to talk about it. Could you put these on the grill for me, please? Yeah, Lizzie Friedman. I mean, I, maybe I couldn't do skateboard tricks as a boy, but as a man, I think I've turned out pretty good. I wish you could see me now. Today, Sammy? Yeah. You look a lot better than your Uncle Jimmy did on our first date. <laughs> you wore a shirt that said, why fart and waste it when you can burp and taste it? My grandmother gave me that shirt. Sammy, I want you to be polite today. Remember, Claire is your guest, so you should play what she wants to play. And listen, Sam, no matter how much she begs, don't dress up like a princess and let her take pictures of you. Even if she promises not to show them to anyone at school, because she'll show everyone. Everyone. 
and her and Kevin Gallagher will laugh and laugh and laugh. What uh, kind of princess did you Leia. dress up? <laughs> princess Leia, we were playing Star Wars and she insisted on being Chewbacca. So why didn't you dress up like Luke Skywalker or Han Solo? Because she wanted me to be Leia and I was in love. <laughs> I'm sure all of you have done embarrassing things in the name of love. Oh, of course we have, honey. I, for example, married Princess Leia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that must be Claire. Wait, wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. <laughs> okay, let her in. My, that Sam is quite a gentleman. Mm, yes, he is. <laughs> hands, Sammy, hands out of the pants. <laughs> Brad, come here, you gotta see this. If it's Jimmy strutting around in his Daisy Duke shorts, I don't wanna see it. Last time I saw his boss hog and half of his enus. <laughs> it's Sam and Claire. Look how cute they are. I have to admit, it is cute. Oh, look, they're playing hide-and-go-seek. What's going on here? What is he doing? He stole her. He stole Sammy's girl. Logan stole Sammy's girl. Love it. Come here, Logan. Sammy, she's gone. Stop counting for crying out loud. Hey. Hey. What's up with Logan? He's in a timeout. What did he do? He kept trying to steal Sam's girlfriend. Oh. Gosh, I'm, I'm sorry. What happened? Logan and Claire kept going off to ride bikes. And? <laughs> and Sammy can't ride a two-wheeler. Look, we, we kept asking Logan to stop, but every time he went outside, he rode off with her again, leaving poor Sam alone on the steps. <laughs> Wait a minute, so Logan's in a timeout for riding his bike? With Sam's girlfriend. But she said she liked me better Zip than it up, Sam. buddy, you're in a timeout. <laughs> Logan, honey, you can go out and play. Thank you. What do you think you're doing? I'm sorry, but if, if Claire likes to play with Logan more than Sam, there's nothing we can do about it. Yeah. Of course there is. You could tell him he can't play with her. Why? Why should we make our kids suffer? You don't take things away from your kids out of respect for our children. Well, what is that supposed to mean? Well, Sam and Emily have all kinds of stuff that our kids don't have. Like what? Like nicer clothes, expensive toys? I mean, last year, Logan wanted an Xbox like the one Sammy has, but the best we could give him was an Xbox box. Dad, Claire wanted to know if she could come ride bikes with me again on Saturday. Uh, I'm sorry, buddy, but that's gonna be no. Of course she can. Thank you. I don't believe it. I don't believe you're gonna let him steal Sammy's girlfriend. What am I supposed to tell my kid? Well, if he's gonna grow up to be anything like his father, you might wanna tell him to get used to it. <laughs> what are you doing? I bought Sammy a big boy's bike. What do you think, Sam? Cool. That's right, we need to fight fire with fire. If Logan can do it, so can Sammy. Sure he can. He just needs someone to teach him. Wish my dad would have taught me how to do skateboard tricks like Kevin Gallagher. Why, so you could have married Lizzie Freeman? It has nothing to do with Lizzie Freeman. Kim, my whole life, I, I lost girls to guys that could throw a football further or could climb to the top of the rope in gym class without getting the nosebleed. I don't want Sam to end up sitting alone at home on Friday nights playing Scrabble with his parents. Scrabble? Yep. All through high school, the only rack I ever saw was the one that was holding my letters. <laughs> I 
I thought he'd be able to do it. Are you really that surprised he kept falling? He has your genes and you couldn't ride a two-wheeler until college. That's not hereditary. I told you I had a freaky inner ear accident as a child that destroyed my balance. Spider-Man gets superpowers from a spider, let one crawl in my ear, and I spend the next 12 years falling off a toilet. You watch TV. Yeah, honey. Go relax and watch SpongeBob while you clot. I thought, I thought he was eventually going to get the hang of it, but his asthma really hurt us out there today. I mean, did you hear the poor kid struggling, pushing his bike up that last hill? It was like he was breathing through a bong. All right, well, apparently we can't fight fire with fire. We don't have fire. I'm not giving up. In fact, if Sam can't beat Logan at his own game, then Sam has no choice but to use something he has that Logan doesn't. That's a great idea. Like what? You're the one at home with him all day. I was hoping you'd jump in with something. Jimmy, come look at this. It is the most adorable thing ever. Oh, what is he? Is Greg trying to start the lawnmower again? Yeah, it's cute for about the first 20 minutes. Then it starts to get pathetic. <laughs> no, it's Logan and Claire. Come here. Logan's got a little girlfriend. Yeah, well, he's pretty smooth, you know? He's got his dad's moves and his mom's good looks. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, my God. Okay, relax, okay? Those, you probably can't even give her a ride. Those little toy electric cars, they only have one seat. See, he's giving up. They bought her a Mercedes? Well, we can't compete with that. I mean, that little toy car is worth more than my real one. <laughs> well, the cars were a great idea, Greg. They're having a blast. I know. Whoever said money can't buy you love never tried to buy a little girl. That didn't sound right, did it? Can you imagine if Claire and Sam did get married one day? The kids would be so cute. I'll say. And judging from her mom, Claire's going to fill out rather nicely. <laughs> Don't kid yourself. Her mother was wearing a wonder bra. Well, it worked. Made me wonder. <laughs> Sammy, what's wrong? My arm itches from petting the dog. What? You know you're not supposed to play with dogs. You're allergic. Where did a dog come from, anyway? I don't believe it. They have resorted to germ warfare. Hey, 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 how about a little knockity knock knock? Hey, 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 how about a little rentity rent rent? A dog? What do you think you're doing? Look, you know, we can't compete with expensive toys, so we did the only thing we could do. Jimmy went out and bought a dog. Got a dog. I went out and got a dog. <laughs> what does that mean, you got a dog? Well, I was in kind of a hurry, and it was just walking down the streets. You stole a dog. <laughs> You stole a dog that is so over the line. Over the line? You bought a five-year-old girl a Mercedes. Yeah, that's after Sam had already lost her to your two-wheeling little gigolo. Hey, you know, it's not my fault that your son doesn't have the normal coordination of a five-year-old. Why don't you just teach him how to ride a bike? We tried. We ran out of Bactine. <laughs> you know, this is crazy. They're little boys. They shouldn't be judged on, on what kind of toys they have or what kind of animals they're allergic to. Well, then what should we judge them on? How cute they are? Because I don't think you want to do that. <laughs> What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Sammy's adorable. Logan is adorable. He's cute. I wouldn't call him adorable. You have to take your fingers out of your nose once in a while to be adorable. <laughs> oh, really? And, and, and put them where? Down your pants? <laughs> Come on, are you kidding me? If it was just the two boys, 
No toys, no dogs, no bikes. There's no way that girl doesn't choose Logan over Sam. Well, first of all, you're high. <laughs> and unfortunately, there's no way to find that out now. Yes, there is. Look, here's what we'll do. We'll, we'll, we'll put them both in the yard, right? No, no, no dogs, no electric cars, no bikes. Just Sammy and Logan, all right? And then we'll place Claire between them and have them each call her name. <laughs> and, and, and whoever she goes to gets to keep her. That is the stupidest idea I have ever heard. You're on. <laughs> Sammy, come out here. Okay, little McGruff, we won't be needing you. Why is he taking my new puppy? Yeah, don't get too attached to that, Logan. It's a loner. <laughs> Sammy, stay right there. All right, Logan, come over here by me, please. Hi, Claire. Hi. We're going to play a little game. You like games? Yeah, I like hopscotch, mango seek, and tag. Yeah, you know what? That's great. Just stay right there, okay? <laughs> Call her name, Logan. What? Call her name. You're a stupid head. <laughs> no, honey, don't call her a name. Call her name. Sammy, say Claire. Claire. Like that, say her name. Claire. Say it again. Claire. Say it, Logan. Claire. Claire, over here. <laughs> Over here, girl. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. This way, honey. Come on, Claire. Come on, Claire. Claire, get over here. No, no, no. Back here. That's right. Come over here. Come here, Claire. Good girl. What a good girl. Claire, get over here. Don't be such a fool. Come here. 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 Come well, I don't think we have to answer that until you answer why you, why you didn't knock before entering our house. I did knock. No one answered. Then I heard people yelling my daughter's name, so I came in. Oh, okay, Kim, go ahead and answer a question. You know what? I don't care. There is no excuse for what you were doing. Let's go, Claire. This is the last play date we're having here. Want to put on our bathing suits and have a mud fight? Yeah! Maybe that got a little out of hand. Wasn't that bad. Greg, I was throwing her treats while you were whistling at her. We were a camcorder away from shooting the first episode of Kindergartner's Gone Wild. I'm sorry. Oh, me too. Our sons are gonna meet a lot of girls in their lives. If we don't want to drive them all away, I think we should keep our distance. Yeah. Well, besides, they don't need our help with women. I mean, eventually they're just gonna figure it out, right? Like, like Greg and Jimmy did. Well, Jimmy maybe. <laughs> when I first met Greg, he still had quite a bit to learn. <laughs> He knew all of the right names for a lot of things, but he just didn't know quite where to find them. It's true. <laughs> Hello? Excuse me, somebody told me they saw a guy in a hat taking my dog back here. Yeah, that was me. Obviously. I, uh, found him on the sidewalk and thought he was lost. Well, uh, he, uh, he has our address right on the tag. Yeah, you can't always trust those, though. Excuse me? Huh? What? What? Um, nothing. Thanks, I guess. My little girl would be very upset if she knew her dog was missing. Little girl? How old is she? Five. We just moved in about a block and a half down. Wow, that's great. I bet she's adorable. Yeah, she's a cutie. Yeah. Anyway, uh, thanks again. I'll see you around. <laughs> Bye. Bye. See you later. Bye-bye. We 
should go find Sam, see if he wants to hang out. Yeah, we haven't taken a family walk around the neighborhood in quite a while. <laughs> Logan, wash your face. We're going to visit your puppy. <laughs> Kevin, that is so cool. How'd you learn to do that? My dad taught me. Can I have your girlfriend? I'll think about it. I'll show you some funny pictures. <laughs> <laughs>